The injuries for the Chicago Bears defensive secondary continue to add up. Potentially all four opening day starters will be out in Thursday night football against the Washington Commanders. Bears had to make some roster moves earlier this week in order to have almost an entire new group, but there is some good news on the injury front that I'm excited to bring to you guys. Hello, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Brisker, Johnson, Jackson, and Gordon are are all banged up and it's not looking good at the moment. Not only does Matt Eberflus need to be fired, but potentially the Bears strength and conditioning coach as there's always guys injured and the DB room has literally almost the same injury every time. I'm going to go through those who are hurt for this upcoming game and who's going to be back. Please make sure you hit the like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you please could, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. So let's talk about who is injured. Safety Eddie Jackson will be out against the Washington Commanders. According to Bears Communications, he has a foot injury. It is the same foot injury he sustained last year against the New York Jets that actually ended his season last year early, and he's been now out for three games in a row. We need Jackson back, not only for his leadership, but his ball hawk ability. This is a big hurt, especially in a must-win game against the Washington Commanders if they want to save the season before the Bears go potentially 0-5. If it doesn't get better, throw him on IR. Give him the time he needs to heal up because he's more important as a person than just having him potentially on the field for a play and hurting himself even more. Then you have cornerback Jalen Johnson. Johnson has been ruled out with a ham and string injury. Super common amongst the defensive back group. He's the first of three that I'm going to talk about having hamstring injuries, and I really think that someone's need to tell the DB group to touch their toes, especially stretch out those hammies. A massive blow to the secondary as Johnson has a 62 QBR when he's targeted. Unbelievable, very good rating out of the gate. We need to find a way to keep him on the field, and a hamstring injury is something that you don't want a guy to sustain. We've been dealing with this, and hopefully he's back next week, but cornerback Kyler Gordon. Gordon was placed on IR after sustaining a hand injury against the Packers. Gordon had a lot of expectations from people, including myself, as being a leader of this defense, and he absolutely has it. He showed in the preseason, and we need him back immediately. Again, potentially back next Sunday. Bears have 10 days off in between Thursday night's game and next Sunday. Hopefully Gordon can pass all his health uh, needs in order to be back on the field. A new one, safety Jaquan Brisker. He is questionable after tweaking his hamstring on Tuesday's practice. He was limited in Wednesday's practice, and it's looking questionable at the moment. This dude has been battling injuries all season long. I hope the Bears keep him out and let him rest up as he's more important down the stretch versus now. Another guy on IR and another guy with a hamstring injury, Josh Blackwell. He was placed on IR last week, so we still have three more games to go, including the Washington Commanders game, hoping that he has a very speedy recovery. But the good injury news. Offensive guard Ted Kevin Jenkins is potentially making his return on Thursday Night Football. This is a high possibility as he did travel with the team. It was discussed putting him in potentially for some limited snaps, but great to see him on the road to recovery and being back for this team. Lord knows we need it. So who's going to fill in for this banged up secondary? So I'm saying Brisker will play tough as nails. I hope he doesn't because a hamstring injury is pretty serious. So right now we're going to have him out there, but if he isn't, we're probably going to expect new bear Deron Harmon to be out there. Along with that safety Elijah Hicks the second year man out of Cal who was drafted by Ryan Poles last year rookie cornerback from Minnesota Terrell Smith who had a nice game last week five tackles one tackle for loss and one pass deflection and then rookie cornerback Tyreek Stevenson He's been playing well, just needs to work on his aggression so he doesn't get any more penalties. Those are the big injury updates entering the Chicago Bears game. And as expected, Chase Claypool will not be with the team. He was listed as other on the injury list. Probably won't be with the team much longer. But with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Dick Rohde, and as always, bear down. <laughs>